Oscar Wilde was an Irish poet and playwright born in Dublin in October of 1854 and who died in Paris in 1900 at the age of 46, shortly after his release from prison for two years of hard labor, his sentence for his conviction of gross indecency with men. I want to look into his novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray, because of its strange theme. It was first published in serial form in Lippincott's monthly magazine in July of 1890. Dorian Gray was an aristocrat who had a full-length portrait of himself painted. Dorian expresses the desire to sell his soul to ensure that the picture, rather than he, will age and fade. The wish is granted, and he pursues a life of various amoral experiences while he stays young and beautiful, while the picture ages and records every sin. After a long life of experimenting with every vice and a chain of events centering around a young woman who had fallen in love with him that he had spurned, he ended up destroying the portrait, at which time he immediately aged and took on all the sins etched into the portrait. He was found unrecognizable and stamped in the heart. The portrait itself was then restored to its original youthful appearance. This novel of highly questionable subject matter for viewers young and old was made into a movie, first in 1945. The one and only time I saw this movie, it was shown by the youth pastor on a church retreat when I was a teenager. The truly degenerate nature of the story is hidden because it is cast as a fictional story being told and disguised as a creative object lesson about the choices a person made in his life. A movie version was made again in 2009 and released on September 9th of 2009, or 090909. I bring this in about Oscar Wilde because there has been a subversive current running through our culture and society that is related to Oscar Wilde's personal life and literature and is very much a part of what has been going on here without the knowledge, awareness, and conscious consent of the general public. This has been done deliberately in an ongoing effort to corrupt, degrade, and control humanity by keeping people stuck in their lower selves rather than coming into awareness of higher self and stuck in the head instead of living from the heart. Oscar Wilde was also a socialist, and this is what he had to say about it. 